the one thing that I found limiting at first when I got uh, Harmony Hub was um, that I had the TVs that I wanted to control or devices that I wanted to control and they were not in the same room and um, inside of the Harmony Hub. Most of the devices that you control, they are infrared, so they have to be in direct um, kind of uh, line of sight of the hub so that uh, it can operate them. Um, it comes with two little infrared um, ex blaster uh, extenders, which is really good, but still uh, quite limited because they have it's wired and they have to be in the same room in order to operate. So that was not, uh, I was not very happy about that because it doesn't matter that you can control 15 uh, devices if you cannot use them uh, in different places of your house. So the way I overcame that was uh, you have these two, um, while looking for options, I um, came with uh, uh, the idea of trying to find um, uh, media converters. So I found these two devices, which are uh, radio frequency, infrared to radio frequency, and radio frequency to infrared converters. So um, uh, I found this brand, which is very good. Uh, it works very well. It's called Terk, and uh, there are these little squares. Uh, um, uh, this is the American version. I got them on Amazon in Canada. I found the same product in Circuit City, but it's called it's exactly the same device, but it's called uh, Acoustic Research is the brand. So uh, maybe in Canada is just a different distributor. I don't know, but the device it works very nice. Um, so you need two of these devices. Um, you can see here. Uh, you need a, a transmitter, uh, you need your transmitter, and you need a receiver, uh, obviously. So the way it works, it comes with its, its own power supply, and um, so the way it works is that you place the transmitter inside of uh, the Harmony Hub in a place where it's not doesn't look very um, that it doesn't draw a lot of attention so you have it like that and then uh, when you command your TV which is in your living room uh, upstairs um, your Harmony Hub will send um, the command to turn on the TV to the little um, radio frequency transmitter and it will send the signal up to your living room where you will have your other device, the receiver, you will come here and you will place it um, where you can see your TV and um, so like that, just place it here wherever you want and um, then when you turn on your Harmony Hub, your TV through your Harmony Hub it will convert the signal into radio frequency and this little guy will pick it up and uh, convert it again to infrared and then that's how you will be able to uh, control your TV and in this way you can um, take more advantage of the 15 devices that the Harmony Elite Hub uh, lets you uh, um, uh, make use of so that's a very good solution that I found and I really recommend it it's really nice to have uh, these little kinds of converters. Um, this um, is the brand that has worked very well for me. I stocked up with quite a few of these. Um, it comes in pairs when you buy them, the transmitter and receiver, but obviously later on if you have to use several, um, you just need to use one tr transmitter and you just um, keep using the receivers, whatever it is that you want to uh, have them uh, controlling your devices. So you just need one transmitter and you'll need a receiver at every location where you want to control your your devices. But it's uh, a very nice uh, uh, kind of device to know of its existence and uh, to have it in your um, uh, configuration. So that's it. This is how you use your uh, Harmony Hub. And um, that's one more step, uh, one more building block 
in your automated house controlled by uh, your Amazon Echo and uh, Alexa. I will talk in the next video about uh, how to configure the SmartThings hub so that you can link it to your Harmony hub and that it can work uh, sorry, together I with Alexa. Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Oh, sorry, Alexa picked it up. I wasn't talking to her. Anyways, that's it for tonight.